Welcome back, folks. Um, there's been a few changes since you last, uh, watched. Um, I have gotten entirely new equipment for my character. Um, I went and spent a lot of money on the auction house, and <laughs> everything is now rare quality. Um, tons of sockets on everything. Uh, my stats are insane now. My damage is just completely, completely ridiculous. It used to be not even 300, and now it's more than three times that. Um, so it's just, it, it's, it's insane. Um, leveled up a couple times, got a few new skills and stuff, but I haven't really changed any of my skills. Um, I kind of like what I have. The new stuff, there's some pretty cool new stuff, and there's one in particular that I really want to try. Um, I think I'll probably replace Cluster Arrow with it for the moment. Um, and it's Rain of Vengeance here. Um, it doesn't have any runes yet, so I probably won't stick with it. Uh, of course, neither does, uh, uh, Cluster Error, but I like Cluster Error, so... That's this bit. Um, the biggest problem... I'm still waiting. Um, it seems to... Um, just do damage to the things around me. It doesn't... I can't aim it. Um, I'm not a huge fan of it, but... Yeah, I... My damage is so ridiculous now that I pretty much, um, instantly destroy anything that I shoot at, basically. Um, I started out back at the keep, so I walked back here to the bridge, and there was a whole mess of enemies, like, back where I was standing when I started. Um, they all, like, basically charged me at once, and I just did that, like, twice, and they were all dead. And they weren't normal enemies either, they were special enemies, and they just all died. It was hilarious. These guys have just enough health to survive, but barely. <laughs> That. There's a resurrector down there. Those guys are dead. They were behind me. But yeah, the uh, the auction house is actually kind of ridiculous, really, because the the damn the uh, things you can buy for not a whole lot of money. I mean, I didn't, I didn't spend that much money. I mean, I'm, I'm almost out of money now. I mean, I spent a fair bit. But it was like... 30,000 or something for an entire... set of armor and weapons, basically. The only thing I did not change... The only things I did not change... were this amulet, were the amulet and the rings. Everything else uh, is new that I got. And it's just... for not really that much money. I mean, yeah, it was most of the money that I had, but it wasn't... I didn't have a whole shit ton of money to begin with. And, uh... And this was after I also had went in and upgraded the... both the jeweler and the, uh... Uh... uh blacksmith to the maximum level that I can. And... Right now... So I literally spent all the money that I could on anything else, and then went a little crazy. And I also spent... That was also after I had spent some money to upgrade my wizard that I'm playing with my friend. Um, and I still, you know... have 15... 15, uh... hundred left. Uh, it's just ridiculous. I mean, I didn't spend that much money, really. And... My character now just does such ridiculous, completely ridiculous damage that it's... hilarious. The soldiers could have made a stand here and held this bridge. Yes, if they had seen the attack coming. Yes, but unfortunately for them... Asmodan kind of attacked out of Hello. Goodbye. Thank you for getting in my face. 
It was it was funny because I, I did that primarily because my uh, friend and I, um, because I went and uh, spent money on the auction house on my a little bit of money on the auction house with my uh, wizard, and I gave my wizard a bunch of stuff that I'd found with this character. Um, my wizard is a lot more powerful than his uh, witch doctor, and I think he got mad. <laughs> a little bit mad, not really mad, but he was like. Annoyed that I was so, so much more powerful than he was, so he went and like got a little crazy on the auction house. Um, I don't know if he did if he's done anything with his with doctor. He went a little crazy with his barbarian and uh, got just completely insane stats. And when I logged in earlier, he was telling me about it. I was like, "How the hell did you do that?" Um, and I checked out his equipment and everything. And I was like, well, I guess I need to go visit the auction house. Um, he's, well, he was a little bit behind me. Um, but now he's actually ahead of me because he was playing all day. Uh, he's almost at the very end of the game now. Whereas I still have a little ways to go. But. Help me! Um. This? Is this my blood? I can't breathe. I wish I had been here in time. So he had basically gotten to where he was doing like twice the damage that I was doing. Um, so I kind of laughed and uh, went and spent ridiculous money on the... Uh, all that money on the auction house. Much damage. Well, you didn't reflect what enough. A monstrous creature. And uh, he got into where he was doing probably about twice what my what I was doing before. Um, so he was doing like maybe 600 or something. Um, <laughs> so I was like, oh, okay, well, all right. Let's see. I'll see what I can do. And uh, I, I did this, and he was I just like, I, I hate you. Might we spar someday if we survive this battle? Certainly, it would be my. Because my uh, my damage just went, you know, ridiculous. And he does he does have more armor than I do, but I think that's primarily because you know the barbarian's main stat is strength, which provides bonuses to armor. Um, so I think my armor is actually straight armor is actually probably better than his, or at least about roughly the same. But, uh, because of his strength, he has considerably higher armor than I do. Is, like, well over a thousand. I don't remember precisely what it was now. But well over a thousand. And, uh, mine is, you know, 850. So, he's got better armor, but my damage is, like, insane. <laughs> but it was funny because after I did that, um, I uh, when I came back on to pick all the stuff up out of my stash, um, I just I just told him, well, I think I win, and he was like, oh, and I'm like, yes, <laughs> by a lot, <laughs> and and that was before I uh, even uh, gemmed the, the stuff. Once I gemmed things, it was even more ridiculous. Um, He also, I'm not sure how how finding gems works, um, because he has pro he's had problems finding gems. He barely finds any, uh, whereas I've been finding really quite a few. Um, so I'm not sure. I'm curious to would be curious to look into the um, the drop numbers or whatever. 
um, and see what regulates that. Um, for everything, not just the gems, but primarily, specifically the gems, but... Um, because... It's interesting that he gets so few drops, but I have found a lot of gems. I mean, it's not completely ridiculous, but it's pretty damn ridiculous. You know, I'm, I meant to uh, be trying Reign of Vengeance, and I haven't been doing it. It was, and all that. Uh... I have never seen you fight. It is a wonder to But it's funny that we uh we ended up doing that because we had been talking about and even almost kinda of complaining about the auction house being a, you know, pay to to win kind of thing. And then we go and, you know, use it to make our characters like ridiculously strong. Um, we were more uh, concerned really with the uh, money, the real money auction house as opposed to the gold money one. Because that's kind of one thing. I mean, you've earned the money in the game one way or the other. Um, and it, while it's kind of the same thing, it's less. kind of less. a little less like cheating really because you're still. You know, you still have that money in the game somehow. And, I mean, the money... Without the auction house, the money is kind of useless, really. It at least gives a use to money and collecting money and everything. But, uh... Yeah, it was just funny, because... I am so insanely, ridiculously powerful now that... It'll be amusing when I fight Asmodan, because I'm probably just going to destroy him. Um, we, uh, I got on with the Demon Hunter and his Barbarian after he had leveled up and done all that powering up um, before I did. And uh, we went and fought the, uh, um, shit, what the hell is he called? The dude in the larder, the big fat, ugly, nasty thing that I ran around on circles and killed fairly easily, but still like, went around for a bit. Um, we went and fought him together, and he died in literally so fast that it wasn't even funny. And when we fought, uh, Belial with, uh, um, our other characters, we killed him so fast that it was hilarious. And if we'd had these two, I mean, it would have just been, it would have been stupid. I mean, we would have killed Belial in, like, five seconds. It would have been hilarious. And, uh, I'm, uh, I'll, I'll be amused to see how, uh, it ends up going with Asmodan here, because I really don't expect it to last long. <laughs> Eldruin will destroy the demonic seal protecting this gate. You think Eldruin is his sword? Unhappy with the material. <laughs> the material runs behind me. It's like I'm gonna, I'm gonna hide now. Dude, you really don't want to do that. It's pissing me off. That's nice. And now you die. The beast has fallen. You did a fair bit of damage to me before you, uh, I killed you, but... I'm mildly impressed. Also, they call it the... My family was murdered by these beasts. I am all that is left of their line. They will pay dearly for the pain they've caused. Hmm, probably. 
you know, seeing as how I'm just completely obliterating them all. So this is their take on hell for Diablo 3. I'm assuming we're actually supposed to be in hell now as opposed to... Oh yeah, that would... That would look like... Sort of like hell, I guess. Messy. Alright, um... I'm not really sure how long this video has been so far, but I think I'm gonna call it a video here for the moment. And then uh, we'll pick right up. Might run back to town, empty his inventory here. And then we'll pick right back up with we'll talk to her and continue on. So I'll see you all in a little bit. And thanks for watching.